So one way I love to teach functions when I'm first introducing them is to give them the toaster example. So we always start um, with a formal definition of what is a function and we always talk about this function machine because they've seen this before. This is something that they might not have called a function but they've definitely seen when it goes into the machine and you do something to it and then it comes out a different number or they've made tables this way in middle school. And so we talk about all these different machines and so as I'm talking about this function machine I always like to bring up the toaster and so the kids are like really? But I'm like, well, it's a machine, right? And you put something in and you get something out and it's kind of predictable. So we always talk about putting in your bread. Usually you put in bread and you get out toast. And they love that example. Okay, so you put something in, you put in bread and you get out toast. And, and they understand that it's a machine. Now I say, what if you put in bread and you get out eggs? Well, then obviously it's broken. Okay, so that, that machine doesn't work. That is not a function. Uh, and I start putting the vocabulary in once they get the idea of it. I said, so if I put rye bread in and I get out toast, is it broken or is it work? Well, that works. Okay, so I can put rye bread in and I still get out my toast and it makes sense and everything's fine. If I put in my wheat bread, I get out toast and that's fine. So they really start understanding, I put something in, I get something out, and there's kind of a rule to it. doesn't have to be real specific rule, but there's some sort of rhyme or reason usually for a function. And then we start talking about the domain. So what is appropriate domain for the toaster? Well, the appropriate domain might be bread. They might come up with Pop-Tarts or freezer waffles. And does it make sense that they get something different out? And... um that makes a lot of sense to them. They also are understanding that if they put in wheat bread every single time they're going to get out toast. They should not get out a waffle when they put in wheat bread. That would not make sense and that would not be a function. Okay, so when they put in wheat bread they should always get out that predictable thing. Now what if I put in rye bread? Do I Can I still get toast? Yeah, that's okay to be the same. But what I put in if it's the same, then what I get out better be the same too. So if I'm putting in wheat bread every single morning, I better get toast out every single morning. If I'm putting in freezer waffles every morning, I better get a toasted freezer waffle every morning. They really understand that on Thursdays, you don't put in a freezer waffle and get out eggs. And that conversation goes really well and opens up our discussion to domain and range and puts a real world example right into their brains. And this has worked very, very well. And I love to see how the kids come up with different examples. And if you always remember to bring it back to that input and output, in that domain and range. And what is an appropriate input? Is it appropriate to put eggs in? Would that be the domain? And sometimes I'll even list on the board, what is the domain? What things would you put into a toaster? And sometimes they kind of scare me and surprise me, but for the most part, it's predictable. I know what that's going to be. And then we talk about what's the range. Well, does that make sense? And then I will ask them, and I've gotten really good about this. I wasn't in the beginning. What are some examples that don't make sense? So, yeah, putting eggs in, that does not make sense. Putting a screwdriver in really doesn't make sense and deadly. Um, so when they start looking at those non-examples as well, it, as well, it really gives them a better understanding of what is a function, what makes it work, and that machine, there's something predictable that's going in the input and then coming back out the output. And so I love this toaster example. In the next section, we'll look at another example that works really well to help students understand.